In this video, we're going to have a quick look at what can go wrong when a negative feedback loop breaks. Our example is going to be the disease diabetes, which occurs when the homeostasis of blood sugar no longer works properly. Remember that in the negative feedback loop that controls blood sugar levels, the hormones released by the pancreas, insulin and glucagon, are the two responses that help keep your blood sugar levels steady. Insulin stops blood sugar from getting too high and glucagon stops it from getting too low. What happens if one of those responses stops working? Well, diabetes is an illness that occurs when your body loses the ability to maintain homeostasis of blood glucose levels. And the reason it happens is because the insulin side of the negative feedback loop is not working. There are two types of diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the body's own immune system destroys the cells in the pancreas that make insulin. Since no insulin can be made, the negative feedback loop is missing one of its responses, and the body is unable to prevent glucose levels from getting too high. Type 1 diabetics manage their condition by injecting insulin into their bloodstream at regular intervals. Type 2 diabetes is more common than type 1. In this case, the pancreas is able to make insulin, but the receptors on the liver cells do not capture it very well. That means that the liver doesn't respond appropriately to maintain blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes tends to develop later in life and can often be managed by careful diet and exercise.